It's pretty pretty accurate. I mean, it was pretty good. When you say the name Paul Coyle in Bullitt County, people may not think of the man. Instead, the character he drew of himself in the Pioneer News. He's been part of this, the, the family since I guess it was uh, July of 85. Though he was a man of few words, you always knew exactly how he felt. Coyle did his communicating with pencil and paper as a cartoonist, paying close attention to the details. That's where her slip was just a little bit below the dress. Not afraid to take on the tough issues and people in the community with a pointed flair. They may not have always agreed to it or agreed with it, but I think also they, they, they also enjoyed being in it. That voice that Shepherdsville has come to respect has been silenced his last comic drawn. Coyle passed away last Wednesday at the age of 78. It's really sad because Paul was one of a kind. He was just the sweetest, kindest person. And now that Paul Coyle isn't going to be walking in and out of the Pioneer News delivering his cartoons, the staff here at the paper says they're kind of at a loss for what to do next. We've kind of got it. Maybe uh, maybe let this thing sink in a little bit um, for us, the community. After that, they say they're going to do what Paul would have wanted. I don't think he would want us to go and, and just run blase, bland, um, sterile, national syndicated column, uh, cartoons. I think he would want something local. And as the search for that cartoonist gets underway in a few weeks, the staff here says they'll spend the time in between admiring the artwork. I'm thinking, wow, that did happen um, in the past year. Of a talented man whose pictures will live on in Pioneer News archives forever.